Hello. What do you think is the most important thing for a child? Is it toys, delicacies, clothes or something else? Sometimes children get annoyed and dissatisfied when their parents don't buy them what they desire. This story is about a little child who requested numerous things from his parents but did not get any of the things that he asked for. When somebody else offered the child the same things, he refused everything. What might have happened? Let's see. It was the festival of spring. As the people proceeded towards the fair, a little boy ran excitedly amongst the crowd with his parents, who were constantly monitoring him. When the child saw a toy shop on his way to the fair, he could not suppress his desire to own a toy, and though he knew his parents wouldn't agree, he said, "I want that toy." His father looked at him angrily and his mother diverted his attention to a mustard field. They walked through the mustard field and the child was fascinated by the little insects. His mother gave a cautionary call. "Come child, come. Come on to the footpath." The child followed. As the parents sat under a groove, they again instructed the child to go with them. He was then fascinated by the raining petals and the cooing of doves. His parents lifted him up and walked towards the footpath which led to the fair through the mustard field. Do you think parents should agree to their child's every request? The child was extremely excited to enter the fair. He saw a sweetmeat seller selling delicious sweets. His mouth watered and he pleaded to his parents. I want that burfi as he had expected he received no answer and he moved on next the child was drawn to a flower shop I want that garland he murmured but he knew that his parents would not acquiesce so without waiting for an answer he moved on then the child saw a balloon seller he wanted to possess the colorful balloons but he was aware that his parents would never buy them for him so he walked on farther then the child went towards a snake charmer remembering that his parents had forbidden him to listen to the coarse music of the snake charmer he walked on finally seeing a roundabout the child could not control his urge to experience the ride he said i want to go on the roundabout Please father mother There was no reply He turned and was shocked to find himself separated from his parents He looked here and there but could not see his parents Then a deep cry rose within him and he wailed desperately Mother father He kept wailing and running hither and thither but to no avail Exhausted He stood defeated still sobbing he ran to the shrine he kept running through people's legs crying mother mother he was on the verge of being trampled under people's foot when he shrieked at the top of his voice father mother a kind man heard him and lifted him up in his arms he asked the child how did you get here child whose baby are you The child wept and only cried, "I want my mother. I want my father." The man tried to console the child. He offered to take the child on a roundabout, but the child refused and cried, "I want my mother. I want my father." The man tried to distract the child by offering to let him watch the snake charmer. He offered to get him balloons, flower garlands, sweets. But the child didn't want any of those things. He kept sobbing, "I want my mother. I want my father." And thus the story ends. After watching the animation, what do you think is the most important element in the life of a child? A lost child doesn't care about anything else. All he wants is his parents. This shows that parents are the most important part of a child's life. Often you might have got annoyed when your parents refused to buy you the things you asked for. However, 
it is only our parents that we would ultimately wish for in their absence. Do you agree on this point? What are your opinions on the parent-child bond? Think about it.